Being a mom on dialysis with an active six-year-old little boy was tough. I couldn't ride a bike with him. I couldn't run in the park or take him to the splash park. So everything Henry wanted to do, I couldn't. So to tell your son no because mommy's sick is heartbreaking, especially when he tells his teachers, my mommy needs a new kidney and she's on dialysis. That's why she can't be a parent volunteer. Or my mommy's not feeling well today because she didn't have a good night on dialysis. It's really difficult to have that shared with the outside world, let alone knowing how much it affects your child. I've probably had kidney disease most of my life. I had surgery when I was about 23 months old. And in passing mention to my doctor, I had headaches, really intense headaches. Uh, they sent me for testing and that hit the panic button when they saw the test results. When I was told, like, now's the time, um, I sent an email out to all of my family. A few people at work knew, and I was really shocked that they even said, if you can't find anybody, we'll step up. I went through my uncle, my mom's younger brother, uh, one of my cousins, and um, my brother. Unfortunately, all of them, for various reasons, were, were not acceptable. It was like, okay, there's the three strikes with your family, I'm stepping in, so that's what uh, I was thankfully did. I was getting impatient. I knew I wasn't a match, but I was like, okay, if I'm healthy and I can donate, then I can, you know, go into the kidney pair donation program with Lori and we can get her a kidney. You know, I kind of joked with a few friends that, you know, I, I got a health workup that's <laughs> <laughs> bar none, probably one of the best ones, and I know I'm good and healthy because I didn't get to donate without <clears throat> being really healthy. My surgery was pretty straightforward. Um, I was kind of back to normal activity within about six, seven weeks, but um, <laughs> I, I actually felt pretty good like a week and like the next week. And it didn't take a lot out of me. It was just, you know, recovering from the surgery. I probably had a bit more energy when I woke up. The next day I was tired, but by week three, week four, I noticed a huge difference in going into physiotherapy and occupational therapy. I had more energy than I'd had in years. It's absolutely amazing to see the difference. <laughs> you know, and I think that's one of the great things with live kidney donation. That kidney just went to work right away. My advice to people, if they're looking for a kidney, if they need to ask anybody, swallow your pride and ask because it's the difference between living life and just being on the sidelines. So from my experience donating a kidney, um, having been in the hospital, you know, on the ward and seeing the need, um, you know, until you're in it, you really don't understand, you know, the, the dire need for kidneys. In our situation, I, there was actually you know, six other people that benefited because there were six other donors as well. Rob's my hero. He put his life on the line for me and he knows I'd do the same for him in a heartbeat. Um, but just knowing he stepped up when he really didn't have to. I mean, you say the vows on your wedding day, but it's it means the world when he actually puts them into action. Yeah, well. I mean, that's, you know, to me it was, that wasn't an option. <laughs> like it was, if I could donate, I would, and I did. Together, we do amazing things every day.